And welcome back to the Forklift Certified Gambling Podcast. I'm your host, Forklift Certified Gambling, with my co-host. Damn the G, we're back from Cincinnati. What's up, everyone? Sorry I missed y'all yesterday. Mr. Big Business had a lot of big business to do, and he got a lot of big business things. So we got big things lined up in our presence today. Very big things lined up. Heard Morton did pretty good yesterday. Yeah, man. Like, so we're going to start off with a recap from yesterday, April Fool's Day. So if it hit, it didn't count. If it didn't, it didn't count. So (laughs) let's go to my slate. I had the Braves, yes, run first inning, cooked, cooked. The White Sox Mm. always got it, but cooked. Waka cashes K prop, and then the round robin, Texas was the only one who cashed. So that was a flop. So one and two on the day. But Mo has been fucking killing it this week. We wish he was on the podcast today, but couldn't make it because of other obligations. So with this first parlay, he had the Yankees minus one and a half and the Braves minus one and a half. Both cashed, but the Braves. Braves got voided. I don't know. Something voided that, and I don't know. There's a little bit of suspect going on there. So the game ended in eight innings, which isn't a full regulation game, but they only had like half of a half inning left. So. It didn't make much sense, but it cashed anyways, plus 230. He had Yankees team total over five and a half. They were one run short. He was one run away from sweeping the whole slate. And then he had Braves team total over five and a half, which cashed early on. So shout out to Mo. Had a big day yesterday. Big, big day. Wish he was on the podcast today. But we're moving forward, folks, on our daily handicap grind. We're going to get right into it. Cameron, let me know who you got for today's slate. All right, since Morgan's not here, you know, someone had to do be the Yankee boy here. Okay, but we're going to do something a little spicy. We're going to start taking the team over team ladder, take it at three and a half, go all the way up to six. I mean, once you start hitting those fours, those fives, you're going to start making the monies. I mean, might as well. Why not? I mean, I mean, I like Zach it. Gallen, I mean, they might kind of shut him out early, but I mean, he's been known to like kind of throw it a little bit in the end and not necessarily be he's not really being the same person that he was last year in the the world series yeah so, he's not uh, the same guy he's, really yeah, he's got yeah, hot he's, last he's, year he's, he got hot and now he's a little bit cool he got warm back up again so like I'm, I'm taking the i'm taking the yankees on their points up to six and then like i'm it. also going to say with them scoring that much i also think the diamondbacks probably get a few on the board so the over nine is looking really good too Okay, I like it. Big total, but the Yanks, very potent offense, and the Diamondbacks been clicking. So, cash that in over nine uh, New York Yankees, the Arizona Diamondbacks tonight. And then what you got for your last pick of the day? Uh, so last one, you know I'm up here in Ohio, so I've got to sprinkle the Guardians in there. I'm really liking the Blue Jays, and also I'm thinking the Braves. You put all three of them together, it's 540-1. to one. I mean, it almost seems like a shoe-in. Um, the Blue Jays really the only game I'm really kind of worried about in that one. But, I mean, with them keep hitting the ball, I think they'll be all right. Yeah, they got Jose Barrios going tonight who threw a gem in his first game of the year. So, I think it's very doable. And at 541, I really like that price. Just got to get some contact to the ball. For my MLB slate today, I got, first of all, I got to lead it off. Giants money line, Logan Webb pitching tonight. It's, I hate the Dodgers. I hate the Dodgers. So, Giants money line, got to cash it in, plus money. For my other two props, you know, I really should have led with this one first, but since we're going money line, got to talk about it. Milwaukee money line, they've been hot, folks. They've been hot. Those bats are swinging, and they got decent pitching. Their bullpen's actually been pretty solid, so I like Milwaukee to start the slate off. And then for my last two props, I got the last time he pitched, it was against my Giants, and he carved this up. You Darvish, over six and a half strikeouts for today. I really like that line. I think he's got lights out stuff. And uh, I thought you are, Darvish was washed, but I was proven wrong. And then last, for my last prop of the day, I got Jesus Luzardo, over six and a half Ks. He's that ace of the say. Marlins team. So make sure we're not touching that Marlins bullpen because they have been horrific. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. I, I Like, for the record, I'm thinking of renouncing the fandom of it. But, I mean, it's too early. It's too early. Too early to tell, folks. But it's too early. Yeah, I mean, everyone's got everyone's to start, like, off a little rough. A little rough. Yeah. Yeah. But that has been the MLB slate for today, uh, April 2nd, 2024, folks. We are the Forklift Certified Gambling Podcast. I am Forklift Certified Gambling with my co-host. Gam the G. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Make sure you give us a like, comment, just subscribe. We're going to do daily baseball and keep it rolling, folks. Keep it going. Also, don't forget about that Preds money line. Preds money line. Get it while you can. They've been hot. They've been hot. They've been the hottest team in the league, so get on it while you can.
Yes, Thanks sir. Thanks for watching, y'all. All right, folks. Peace. Doses.